Hey guys, it's Philly Sports here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to do a Sixers preview of the Indiana Pacers game tomorrow at 6 o'clock on NBC Sports Philadelphia. Um, so I put down some key points here for this game. I got to watch out for Joel Embiid. We're going to watch this matchup between him and Domanus Sabonis. Um, obviously, Robert Williams is not good competition to the dominance of Joel Embiid. So we finally get to see some Joel Embiid against an elite defensive and an elite overall center in Domanus Sabonis against the Indiana Pacers tomorrow at 6 o'clock. Um, one thing that I did not see a lot of on the Boston Celtics game was not a lot of good three-point shooting. Uh, later in the game with Shake, Shake started to go off. We had a little of a hot streak from three, but a little concerning there with the three-point shooting. I know it's preseason. We still need to work out some chemistry problems and some setting up plays on the perimeter. Some extra practice, you know, getting some more shots in from the three. So I'm going to look out for that as well. Um, just look at the three-point shots, uh, see when they're available. So make sure you guys look at that as well. Uh, watch out for Tyrese Maxey and Matisse Steibel. Um, it came out today that Doc Rivers is looking into a 10-man rotation. So obviously with the starting five, we already knew that. And the starting five coming off the bench, probably Shake, Furkan, uh, Dwight Howard, um, Mike Scott, and it's a toss-up between Tyrese Maxey and Matisse Steibel. So, look out for that. Um, obviously, I probably see it going to Matisse just because he's an all-defensive level player. And Sixers are primarily more of a defensive team than an offensive team. So, make sure you guys look out for that. Look out for Tyrese. And look out for Matisse to see how they play. Um, so, moving on. Uh, another like shake up is the sixth man on this team. Will it be Shake Milton? Will it be for Con Corkmas? Personally, I want Shake Milton. Um, this dude can definitely win six man of the year. Puts up 19 points in his first game since June, July. Since since the summer, he put up 19 points against the Boston Celtics effortlessly. Like out of nowhere, he had 19 points. Um, think about Shake. Just makes it look so easy, you know. Um, so obviously one shake for Khan, you know, he can come off the bench and shoot threes. He can play decent defense, uh, pretty athletic, but shake has more potential to maybe even come on the starting lineup at some point during the season. If Seth or Danny are struggling a little, little bit, uh, we can see shake probably most likely probably going to be on the starting lineup by the end of the year. Or Doc can use him as a sixth man, similar to what he used with Montrezl Harrell and Lou Williams in Los Angeles. So, you can see that. Um, I'm going to discuss Shake a little bit further. You know, Shake's an interesting story. Um, he's either a second round pick or a undrafted free agent, I think 2018. Uh, you know, I always thought that Shake could be a big piece of this team. Good shooter. He had a lot of muscle this offseason. Um, muscle always helps in basketball, you know, it helps you down low, uh, you can post up better, um, you can get to the rim, um, easier, you know, who wants to step in front of a big muscular dude? Coming from me, I do not want to do that, I do not want to step in front of, of a 6'4", sweaty dude with, with humongous muscles, you know, so Shake, putting on muscle is huge for him, that adds another complexity to his game that we haven't seen, um, I think Shake, as I said before, could be a big piece of this team. He can strong candidate for six man of the year if he can put up what he put up last Monday, Tuesday, um, which was 19 points, I think four rebounds or four assists and three assists or three rebounds um, in 23 minutes. 19 points in 23 minutes. If you do the math, that's averaging about zero point something points a minute. He's averaging points a minute out there. Uh, Three-point shooter, mid-range, fadeaway jumpers. Shake has got it all. Um, big piece of this team going forward. Uh, so give Dayton time tomorrow. 
Friday, December 18th, 6 o'clock on NBC Sports. Philadelphia also available on the NBA League Pass and all that fun stuff. So, no, just a little short video, just a little give a little preview to the game. Do some post game analysis after the game. And as always, go Sixers. Follow me on Instagram, Philly Sports here. Follow me on Twitter. Uh, subscribe here. Get me back to 100 subs. We got four people on sub. What is that for? So, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.